Today on the Brad Dog Media Show, it's just me showing you how to network in 2021. So without further ado, let's drop that intro. Welcome to the Brad Dog Media Show with your host, Just me today going over a topic really quick that is so important and it's gotten a little tricky over the past uh, almost year now. Um, Obviously with going pretty much fully virtual for a lot of people's businesses, it's been interesting to find ways to network and to build your connections, find new business. All these things have gotten a lot trickier in the past year. So, you know, I really wanted to share what I'm doing currently and uh, what other people in my network are doing and how we're able to still grow and expand our connections, create opportunities for ourselves and uh, not let the current circumstances slow us down. So man, one of the biggest things during this time is to take advantage of your current network. So if you're wanting to get involved in uh, some type of industry or you have some type of offer that you're wanting to get out there in the world let it be known with people that you're already close with so now's a huge time to take advantage of what you've already built in years past and uh, you know they're probably doing the same so it could be a good situation where you help others and they can refer you or create connections that uh, from people they might know but then also they can return the favor for you and uh, get your name out there but if you don't have much of a network don't worry there are still big opportunities a lot of times I see people just utilizing social media to post what they're up to share offers be a little salesy and that is just not a great approach when it comes to networking not that those things aren't valuable But if you're looking to expand your network, it's crucial to create certain types of content that will drive conversations. So maybe you pose a question on some of your posts. That's something I often do on Instagram. It could even be like uh, a post you make on Twitter, which could also, you know, result in some conversations themselves. But then also reposting that on Instagram, on Facebook, maybe on LinkedIn. And then as you start to get reactions, maybe that'll spark a new relationship. And um, another big thing is look for other people in their posts. Others might be posing questions or you know, their opportunities to, to engage with them, which is something that we all know as content creators, we really appreciate, right? So they would be happy to probably respond to you. And then from that point, it's pretty common that a direct message conversation happens and that's where you can really develop and build a relationship and um, it's pretty crazy this these day and age even if you're a small Instagram or social media account say you have a hundred or two hundred followers that might not seem like much but just think about a room full of 200 people you know that's a lot of potential networking going on and I would venture to guess that most if not all of you listening right now have not had a conversation with every single person that's following you so take advantage of that you know those people are still just waiting there and if you haven't talked to them yet that's just missed opportunity you have no idea who someone else knows maybe they themselves aren't a big account they might not be in an industry that you want to be involved in but they have friends They have people following them. So you never know who you can talk to and what type of network they're working with. So don't be afraid to get to know everybody you can, especially in today's day and age. Don't take anyone for granted. Someone could be following you that uh, really likes your content and they themselves might not have a business that could use you, but they have friends who could. And they might not have thought to refer you to them 
but by sparking a conversation, you then make it easy on them, right? You know, you just start talking with them, ask if they happen to know anybody and say the fitness industry, if you're wanting to get involved there, you know, it's a very simple technique, but it's an easy way to expand your network. Another platform that I think is actually pretty useful, I've gotten some good conversations out of it. I've actually gotten a couple of podcast guests from this platform. It's Shaper, so it's spelled S-H-A-P-R. Go check that one out, guys. You can set criteria of the types of people you'd like to meet based on interest, profession, job title. Uh, That might be it, those are like the main three at least. Also location. That's another one. So if you're wanting to get better connected in a certain area, Shaper is actually a really good platform. So the free version, you get a certain amount of swipes per day. I forget if it's like 20 or something like that. And just check it every day. You never know who you could come across on that platform. And then like previously mentioning, all it takes is one person that is in the right industry that can get you in the right crowd and uh, you know it doesn't hurt it's one of those things it's super easy to do it's uh, it's kind of funny it's almost like a dating app but for the professional world so you can do your swipe right swipe left uh, hopefully you get some swipe rights on your account you match up with somebody and then that creates opportunity for conversation so check that one out guys it's um, it's getting more and more steam I jumped on it over a year ago and that was you know pre-pandemic but since all the craziness has happened more and more people have gotten on it because they're looking for new outlets and new ways to meet new people so it's a really easy one um it's uh you know everybody's on there to network so it's one of those things where it's less pressure so highly recommend it and the last one i would highly suggest is facebook groups So whether you want to create a group or simply go join other groups, find groups that have like interests or maybe an industry that you would like to work in and just jump into the conversation. Similar to Shaper or uh, some other platforms that are heavy on the networking side, people join Facebook groups to have conversations. So it should be a low pressure thing. Everybody's in there making posts on a regular basis. And if you have some valuable things to add to the conversation in those groups, you can really stand out and people will be curious about what you do. And my final tip when it comes to networking is don't go into the conversation even thinking about business. Go into it wanting to get to know the person. And by going into it with those type of intentions, it's ironic what actually ends up happening. You create some trust with the person and it's so refreshing when you just have a conversation with somebody that's not pushy, not salesy. And next thing you know, you might be the type of person they actually want to do business with. But by coming off aggressive and just throwing your pitch out there, it's far less effective in the long run. And by going into it with the right intentions of just wanting to get to know somebody, you never know what the end result may be. Boom, that's it guys. I appreciate you for sticking with it all the way to the end. If you enjoyed this content, please subscribe and join my Facebook group. So I know I brought that up earlier. The Brain Building Academy link is in the description. It's a great place to learn about how to build your brand, how to grow through digital advertising, content creation, and branding strategy. So I offer all sorts of free value in there. You get to meet other people often in business, and uh, it's a great way to network and build future relationships. So that's all from me. Have a great rest of the week and thank you for tuning in. Peace.